the tap, watch it splash on me. I've been working for a change like it's cash only. I'm a certified guy, check the tag on me. Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie. Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me. Uh, the devil. Well, who's the devil on that? The Bible says a specific man is the incarnation of the devil on earth. Right. And you know that because everything he do is evil as hell. What race of people can say this is their history? Name one. And I'm not talking about they decided to take a cruise or take a trip and go migrate over there themselves. White people came over to this country because they wanted to. Because they wanted to conquer it and take the people that were ruling it and put them into slavery and take all of the gold and the diamonds and the jewels and all of the, the fancy exotic fruits and vegetables and things for themselves. They, they saw business and slavery. That's what they saw. So now I'm not talking about this. This is slavery. God said he gonna gather you from where you've been scattered because you were taken there against your will, forcibly, by people who rule over you and that hate you. Read. Whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee, if any of thine be driven out unto the outmost points of heaven, no matter how far they've been scattered, all the way down here, God said he's going to gather them from there. Read. From thence will the Lord thy like God gather thee, Read. and from thence will he fetch thee, uh -huh. and the Lord thy like God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess. Meaning the land of Israel. Meaning we, are, we, we, we always hear, Africa is the motherland. No, Israel is the motherland. Right. And that is where you and I are from. And God said when he revives us from this land that we were scattered, he's going to put us back in our true homeland, right. which is Jerusalem, where we come from Jeez. as the princes and princesses of God. Right. Read. Right. And thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, uh -huh. and multiply thee above thy fathers. Read. And the Lord thy God, will circumcise thine heart. Meaning he's going to fix your mind because our mind is destroyed today. We have a destroyed mind state today. We don't have any hope here anymore. We don't see any good in anything. Not in our kids, not in our, our, our husbands, not in our wives, not in our communities. We see no good. That's a destroyed state of mind. When we wake up, we have a baby. If, if, if you didn't have five babies, you about to have a sixth one. You're like, oh. I know how I'm gonna take care of this one. You think white people have them issues? They try, they paying them to have babies. They, they damn near dying off. They not having enough babies so where they gotta pay them to have babies. They, they make plenty of money. They can take care of 100 babies if they have them. They just need to have babies. But we so poor and downtrodden, we having another baby, we like, man, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna feed this baby, man. You know, I only make $15 an hour. I'm already on food stamps. I'm already on SNAP. You know, I'm already burning that out till it's dry. I don't know how the hell I'm going to feed this extra baby because we're in poverty, we're in captivity. We were bought here as slaves and as slaves we remain until Christ returns. Right. Read. And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart Read. and with all thy soul Read. and that, excuse me, that thou mayest live. And that you may live because we die here. We die here. We're in a dead state here. Read. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses. Oh no, here's the other part. This, this is the wonderful part. And all the curses that you suffer from today, lowest on the bottom, not enough. Read that again. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses Read. upon thy enemies. Upon all the people who showed you hatred. Everything that, that was done to you, God said they're going to get double. And guess who they're going to get it from? from God. That's what the Bible says. Right. But in church, this is talking about the kingdom of heaven. This is talking, this is a future prophecy in Deuteronomy where he's talking about when, when I come back and I gra gather y'all and clean y'all up, I'm going to punish the people that did you harm. Right. Right. When, why they don't teach that in the church? In church, they teach you that everybody going to get heaven no matter what they done did. Right. God said, people who have made you suffer, I'm going to punish them. I'm going right. to take the curse. This stuff that happened to you, I'm going to put it on them. Right. Read. And on them that hate thee. Well, hold on. So, so, heaven is supposed to be for people that are hated on the planet. If everybody's equal and God don't hate nobody, then why is God talking about punishing the people that hate you? See? That means that God hates them. Right. That's yeah. what that means. That's easy to understand, but we don't read this in church. That's why I said it's hard to get our people to believe the Bible because we've been indoctrinated with white man's nonsense. 
God is not soft. God not no wimp. He's not no big soft teddy bear that just walk around hugging people. That's Barney. That's not God. God is a man of war. God hates evil, and specifically the evil that happens to his children. Jesus. Read. Which persecuted thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord thy God. Drop that. Luke 1 and 68. Now I'm going to show you something, right? Because we all want salvation, right? We all want to be saved, right? And Christ is the one that's going to come and save us, right? But the church says that we are, we're saved, right? Now remember, we read that the enemies are those who rule over you, right? Read what you got. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. God of who? God of Israel. Oh, God of everybody. God of Israel. This is all throughout the Bible. When you read all the way in Revelation, this is talking about 12 gates for the 12 tribes. Matter of fact, drop that. No, hold that, hold that, hold that. Joel 2, 27. I'm going to show you that God is only about Israel. Matter of fact, Amos. Amos 3. Amos 3, that's better, right? Amos 3, because I got to show them that not only is God for us, but this happened because God is only for us. Like, you're not going to punish my kids if they don't listen to you, right? Right. God ain't going to punish bastards either until the end. He's going to punish his kids. Their punishment comes in the end for what they did to us. Right. That's why he read, and all the curses that were on you, I'm going to put on your enemies. Their judgment is in the When Christ comes back, this is over. White men being in your communities, owning all the stores, Arab men sitting up there, hurry up and buy, Chinese people beating on our sisters in the hair store, that's done. They servants and handmaids in the kingdom. That's they slaves right. in the kingdom, just like you were slaves in theirs. This is their kingdom. That's why they rule everything. But in your kingdom, they the slaves. Now we ain't gonna oppress them. We're not gonna do them like they did us. But if they don't listen, guess what they gotta do? They gotta die. Right. Cause the law says, if you don't obey me, what's the wages of sin? Sin is breaking God's laws. In our kingdom, they don't listen, they gotta go. And that's righteous judgment according to God. Read what you got. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord thy God, excuse me, that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel. You always read about children of Israel, but the church says everybody. He said, hear this word that I've spoken against you, O children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Read. Same. Same what? You only. No, everybody. You only, of all the families of the earth, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Wait, I thought God knew all of the people on earth. I thought all the people of the earth was God's children. I thought God was dealing with everybody on the planet earth. The Bible just said the children of Israel only have God known and only has God known them of all the families of the earth. Meaning the other nations are bastards and the children of Israel are sons and daughters. Right. That's what that means. Read. Therefore, therefore, because you only have I known of all the families of the earth, read. I will punish you. I will what? I will punish you huh? for, excuse me, punish you for all your iniquity. This is why when we ask, everybody's been in slavery, so how come this is only traced as far as us? Right. How come we the only ones that see this as proof that it happened to us? See. If every race of people went into slavery, where is stuff like this for all the other races? That's why, because you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity, meaning your sins. We are the only people that suffer like this because of breaking God's laws. This is why a white man can embezzle millions of dollars and they find out about it. And then, my, my, I'll give you a better example. Remember the dude uh, uh, that had the island, what was his name? Uh, Jeffrey Epstein, right? Remember him? Jeffrey Epstein had an island, but they was going in, they was in, engaged in pedophilia and, and sex trafficking and all these things. Y'all remember that stuff? Uh, point blank, it was, it was a guy, right? He was very famous, very famous white guy named Jeffrey Epstein, right? Had an island that celebrities, dignitaries, politicians, everybody knew about this island where they were sex trafficking and indulging in child pornography, right? And when it was found out, he was put in prison and then he ended up dying, but they didn't it was a whole list of people that was going to his island. I'm talking about people you know of, your, your, your Bill Clintons, your Joe Bidens, your princes and princes over there in England, your high status celebrities, all going to this man's island. He was doing much evil. Many of our sons and daughters went missing, was probably on that island being raped or being involved in some type of sex trafficking. And they just put him in jail. But what about all the people that was coming to his island? Why they ain't get punished? That's why, because God said, you only have I known, therefore I'm going to judge you for your sins. They judgment ain't come yet. They judgment come when Christ returns. Right, right. 
And when Christ returns, all this stuff gonna burn. Right. Every bit of it. That's when they get judged. That's why when you see them doing evil things, nothing seemingly happens. Because God just uh, building up a big old tab on these evil people. A tab that they ain't gonna be able to pay for. Except for with their life. And their children's life. And their children's children's life. Just like me and my children had to go into slavery. Just like you and your children had to suffer for our sins, their children gotta suffer too. All of them, because they're descendants of evil people, and they have not given none of the stuff back that they took and stole. They benefit off of it. That's evil, that is unrighteous, that is unbalanced according to God. God is a God of judgment and balance and equity. How is that balanced? How is that good? How is that fair? How is that righteous? Should not God judge all the earth? Nation is men leading by example.